Hey, my VHS fans out there. This is Daniel Drebsky again for more of the opening and closing VHS tapes. Now, here's the fourth tape I have for this week. One of the best known um, action science fiction uh, movie ever made that has like that pound gorilla. I don't mean the original King Kong, but we got here part of the King Kong film series. From King Kong, from Son of Kong, in the, in the third movie in the series, the one and only, the original Mighty Joe Young, which was released in 1949 from RKO. It is a studio excitement version. Stars with Terry Moore, Robert Armstrong, and Ben Johnson. Frank McHugh co-starred in it and directed by John Ford. Hold on, I'll give you like some more light. Mighty Joe Young is just one of the greatest, um, the gorilla movies ever made. Yep, John Ford directed in 1949. And I, about almost nearly 50 years later, they did a remake of Mighty Joe Young that stars with Bill Paxton. Disney made it in 1998. And, and I, this is, follows up from King Kong and Son of Kong. It's about when Robert Armstrong's Max O'Hara decides to go to Africa to find something for using it for his new uh, nightclub in Las Vegas. I think it's in California. Yep. And then he found Joseph Young, the gorilla. And the memorable scene I like in the movie, when the, when, like, the nightclub opened, they have Joseph Young play, holding a, holding a, a ceiling... When when Jill when Jill Young, played by Tim Terry Moore, playing a beautiful dreamer, that's the way to they calm him down, yep. And also later in the movie on the seventeenth week of his nightclub, those three idiot drunks ruins everything when he give him when 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 he gave him liquor and and he and he destroys the whole entire nightclub. And then Max O'Hara and um Craig and, and Jill Young had an idea that without the cops shooting the gorilla, they had to get him out of the state and go back to take him back to Africa. So the only thing was standing in the way was those like those police officers. They had a court order to kill Joseph Young. So when, when they're on the way to the harbor, try to get away from the cops, they spotted a fire at the children's home. Then Joseph Young saved the kids from from abandoned uh, children's home, and the children's home was totally um, turned into uh, turned into sweats at the end when everything falling apart. And then they made it home safely back to Africa. You see, the uh, the 1998 remake is not compared as the original Mighty Joe Young. Yipe. And this is, a, and you know, Mighty Joe Young, the original, was made 1949 in, in RKO. This is part of the RKO series from Turner Home Entertainment. Around that time, it was out in Colorize on VHS. Originally, Mighty Joe Young first came out on VHS and Beta was back in 1979 or 1980 from Nostalgia Merchants. Then it was reissued 1985 by Nostalgia and Media Home Entertainment. Then Fox Hills Video in 1987, but the tape master from 1985 when it was recorded on the LP format. I'll show you what this tape looks like. On the opening of this of this copy of Mighty Joe Young, it has the Turner Home Entertainment's uh, RKO Collection promo. Here's the ink vertical label. Yep, this tape was um, this tape was printed it on. The, uh, printed it on November 19, 1998. Beautiful dreamer. I, I love the original Mighty Joe Young since I was a kid. I like the part when he destroys the nightclub and he saves the kid, and, and also when he saves the kids from the, from the burning orphanage. When the orphanage is about to be just collapsing. 
So without further ado, he is one of the best known. Um, uh, he is like one of the best known horror, science fiction, action classic of Mighty Joe Young, and also has some funny moments. So here is the opening and closing VHS of the 1949, the original Mighty Joe Young from 1949. So you think you've seen all the new movies, and there's nothing left to see. Hello. Better think again. Discover a time when heroes wore white, bad guys wore black, and Kelly Grant always wore something comfortable. RKO Classics. How terribly wonderful. They just don't make them like they used to. Bye. Mm -hmm. 